Hello there. Now that the Labour Party has waved goodbye to its ninth MP, it is beginning to flirt with backing a second EU referendum to stem that outbound flow. The Labour MP for Dudley North, Ian Austin, bade farewell to his party today to sit as an independent over his concerns that Labour was not dealing properly with anti-Semitism within its ranks. Talking to the BBC afterwards, he said that he certainly did not think that Jeremy Corbyn was fit to be the Prime Minister of the UK. Now, although he backed Remain, he is opposed to a second referendum, so is not joining those in the independent group formed over the last few days. And there are reports that other Labour MPs, such as Margaret Hodge and Siobhan McDonough, are now on defection watch. Up until now, the Labour Party leadership has been heavily criticised on two fronts – its seeming unwillingness to confront anti-Semitism within its ranks and its resistance to backing a second EU referendum. But now that the party is losing MPs over both those issues, up pops the Shadow Chancellor John MacDonald to say that the party needed to act quicker and fiercer against anti-Semitism and that it was also moving towards a second EU referendum. Speaking to the Evening Standard, he said, On the people's vote... We've kept it on the table, and we're moving towards that. And this could take the form of Labour backing an amendment to the Withdrawal Agreement Bill being put forward by the Labour MPs Peter Kyle and Phil Wilson that would basically say to Mrs May, you make it law that your deal is put to the test against remaining in the EU in a referendum, and we'll vote your deal through. More remain manoeuvring. Now, it does not take a rocket scientist to work out that that would take at least a year to organise, so requiring an Article 50 extension that took us past July the 2nd, so requiring the UK to also hold EU MEP elections. Another year of uncertainty and costing the UK an arm and a leg, especially when you read that the EU is prepared to be nice and friendly by offering the UK a 20-day extension for 7 billion quid. You have to wonder if they serve coffee in Westminster, don't you? As the bulk of MPs are not waking up and smelling it, are they? Moving on. The EU's chief Brexit negotiator, Michel Barnier, says he is now more concerned than ever that we are heading for what some are calling an accidental no-deal Brexit. He still thinks that the deal can be ratified, he told French Radio, but also said that he was now more worried than ever before, and get this, that the UK politicians needed to act fast. Funny position to be in. The person employed by the EU at great expense to make a deal with the UK is on the verge of watching two years' worth of work ending up yielding absolutely nothing. No 39 billion quid, no UK fishing grounds, no control over UK security and defence forces, no control over UK foreign policy, no land grab of Northern Ireland and Gibraltar, and most importantly, the worrying prospect of a free and prosperous UK on their doorstep. He must be lining up to be the most disappointed Eurocrat ever. That is, as long as our politicians see sense and vote Theresa May's deal down in the national interest. Hmm. This current crop of MPs having sense and working for the UK. Let me see. No, can't see it unless they're dragged kicking and screaming there by the electorate, that is. Now, all is not well in German industry, it seems. The IFO Business Climate Index for Germany fell from 99.3 points in January to 98.5 points in February, which is the lowest level since 2014. It also says that the manufacturing index fell for the sixth time in succession, and although companies report a positive business situation now, pessimism about the future prospects continues to increase. I point this out just to give you a balanced view on how business outside the UK is faring, so that when the Brexit doom-mongers start their work and try and fool us, 
you will know that all is not sweetness and light out there in EU land. Now to the French. They are getting twitched over the impact of a no-deal Brexit on their fishing industry. French Foreign Minister Yves Le Drian told the West France newspaper that Without an accord, we will need to immediately engage in a negotiation to extend until at least the end of this year the existing policy. Otherwise it will be the law of the jungle at sea, which is in nobody's interest. Well, not in France's anyway, as 20% of the total French catch comes from UK waters, so they need the access. And the minister went on to say that France will support its fishermen with every effort being made to maintain equilibrium in the industry, while negotiations take place. What they're looking for is either EU compensation for the fishermen denied access to the UK waters, or a reciprocal agreement for their boats to enter UK waters and for ours to be able to fish in EU waters. On the former, that's up to them, but on the latter, I wonder if UK fishermen would just be happy to return to their natural fishing grounds after all these decades of being forced to stand on the sidelines. Finally, a report from EU auditors shows that in excess of €6 billion Euros has been milked from EU coffers by fraudsters over the last few years, with about €130 million Euros still going missing every year. According to the report, in the 14 years between 2002 and 2016, 8.8 billion euros was taken by criminals, with only 2.6 billion euros being recovered. And another 391 million euros went missing in 2017, while those engaged in this criminal activity go largely undiscovered and or unpunished. But it gets worse. Due to the lack of information, under-reporting and absence of monitoring, say auditors, the scale of the fraud could be much higher. Who'd be mug enough to want to remain in or join an outfit like that? Anyway, please let us all know what you think by leaving a comment below and thank you for watching. Please do like and share this video and also subscribe to my channel and when subscribing Please do remember to press on the little bell next to the subscribe button. That way you'll get an alert every single time I put up a new video. Thank you very much for watching.